Friday night to you as we come your way from Coors Field in Denver. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. It's baseball. It's the show. What is up, console superstars, and how are you all doing today? I am hoping you guys are all having, if not going to have, a spectacular day and night. Here we are, top of the first, one out so far in this inning. The pitch comes, Derek Jeter hits a fly ball deep into center field. This ball is going back near the warning track, but does not have enough as the, as the center fielder is right there to make the second out of the inning. Now, so far, Derek Jeter is hitting 356 this season, and Paul Goldschmidt comes second behind him in the Diamondbacks as he's hitting 341. Now, Amari Gonzalez is hitting in the bottom of the first, 0 2 count, one out. The pitch comes and he hits a pop up deep. Derek Jeter ranges back but realizes the ball is actually headed towards the third baseman, and the third baseman makes the fine grab for the second out of the inning. And now, digging in for the Colorado Rockies is the one, the only power hitting Trevor Story. 0-2 count, two outs, the pitch comes and he hits a ground ball, which Derek Jeter backhands. Will Derek Jeter have enough strength in the throw? And yes, he does to beat Trevor Story by half a step. Now, tuning in, we are in the top of the third. There are two outs. We have a runner on second base. And you guys can clearly see the difficulty has been reset back to beginner because we want to start fresh and not have Derek Jeter. Oh my god, enough of that. That ball is blasted deep, high, and you can forget about that one as Derek Jeter has clobbered a two-run home run. Guess the distance on that one, guys. Guess. If you guys get it right, you guys are geniuses. You guys are the smartest or smartest person or smartest people I know. And the distance was 385 feet. Now, as I was saying before, we had to reset the difficulty for batting because I decided to make personal difficulties, or I want to say not sliders, but the default that you play under, I wanted to make one specifically for Derek Jeter, a dynamic hitting specifically for Derek Jeter, and another one for Alex Rodriguez. So if Derek Jeter is hitting on Hall of Fame, it does not take A-Rod to Hall of Fame. But it lets me progress with each one individually. Now Jamal is hitting. He hits a pop-up. And this time the third baseman is there to make the grab once again. So two pop-ups so far. And none of them have been to Derek Jeter as the third baseman has made the grab every single time. Now going into the top of the fifth, the difficulty has increased. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have a comfortable 4-0 to lead. The pitch comes to Jeter and he hits a ground ball to the third baseman. Which makes the grab and guns him out without a problem but Derek Jeter still gets the solid contact a tribute added to him now coming into bat again in the top of the eighth four to three is the score zero outs brand new pitcher in the game the pitch comes to Jeter and it's a high fastball and a very late swing by Derek Jeter I'm pretty sure he swung after the ball hit the mid what are you waiting for, Jeter? You got to swing way earlier than that. The next pitch comes, and it's an off speed. And now Derek Jeter is just swinging way too early to actually hit the ball into fair territory. So, Jeter, you got to find out whether you're just going to hit the ball late or early or just in between. The third pitch comes, and oh, my. He did not mistake that one. He hit that ball perfectly on the dot. Could have been a home run, but it went to one of the deepest parts of the field. And Derek Jeter will head to third base with a stand-up triple. So the first pitch, he was very late on. The second pitch, he was very early on. And the third pitch, he was just perfect. His timing was perfect. So, hey, maybe that can happen in real life. Who knows? Or maybe Derek Jeter just guessed right with that fastball and was able to clobber it. Now hitting for the Arizona Diamondbacks is your one and only Paul Goldschmidt. 0-2 count right now. Definitely going to be a candidate for MVP as he is destroying the league so far alongside with Derek Jeter and I'm pretty sure as Derek Jeter's difficulty increases his numbers are also bound to decrease because he does not have the same attributes as let's say Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt hits a ground ball to third base Derek Jeter dives back and Paul Goldschmidt gets gunned out at first Derek Jeter is clapping saying come on team pick me up and get me home. 3-0 count now to David Peralta hitting he's one for three so far 
with a single and a run scored and there are five pitches so far thrown by this pitcher and keep in mind to the pitches thrown by the pitcher because it gets a little bit weird so David Peralta is walked and we're gonna assume that would have been the sixth pitch but instead it's a 3-0 count again and he has six pitches instead of having nine pitches so you have to wonder what is going on with this game and the next batter goes and gets walked again so this pitcher has thrown a combined eight straight pitches that are balls now this batter has a 2-2 count and the pitcher only has seven pitches and in my head I'm like what is going on MLB the show the pitcher is supposed to have at least minimum of nearly 13 to 14 pitches I want to say but anyways the ball is hit into center field it's a fly ball Derek Jeter is definitely going to test the arm and without a doubt he is in there ahead of the throw and the Diamondbacks now take the lead five to three so we are looking to close out the game except in the bottom of the ninth the game is tied 5-5, five to five. Jamal is 3-4, for four. his only out has been to Derek Jeter, and now Derek Jeter has a chance to turn two on him, the ball's hit to second base, second baseman flips it over to Jeter, and without a problem, Derek Jeter just guns Jamal out at first, and there are two gone in the bottom of the ninth, and we are now heading into the top of the tenth, where Derek Jeter already has a triple and a home run, so maybe if the game goes into extra innings, Derek Jeter can hit for the cycle, the pitch comes and he swings a little bit way too early right now. He rolled over on the pitch. It was a fastball and he was still very early on it. So Derek Jeter just calmed down and relaxed. We're not going to judge you anymore. But he blasts one into the outfield. That is going Apo Taco and Derek Jeter is showing his Apo Taco power as he hits a dinger solo home run in the top of the 10th to give the Diamondbacks a 6-5 to five lead and guess the distance on that one right now the manager is definitely very happy and the distance on that home run is 424 feet so Derek Jeter is not playing around this year he's trying to hit a bomb at least 500 foot deep and uh, or 500 feet deep I want to say and at Coors Field, it is definitely the place where you can hit a ball 500 feet deep because of the high altitudes. So we finished off the game 3 for 5, but let's head on to game number 2. So Derek Jeter is currently leading the Diamondbacks with 16 home runs. There is a 1-0 lead right now in which the Diamondbacks are winning. I am going to imagine the leadoff hitter hit a home run considering there is only one pitch. Derek Jeter gets a fastball and he turns on it instantly and hits a line drive down the line. The third baseman tries to make a diving grab but it is just way too quick for him and we're gonna get a little replay just to show you guys how fast Derek Jeter turned his hands and just drove that ball down the line so Derek Jeter is not playing around now Paul Goldschmidt is hitting 350 and he is third in the National League I don't know exactly where Derek Jeter is sitting at but he's most likely going to be first Derek Jeter tries to go and steal the bag but it's a pop up to the third baseman so he is running back to first and maybe it would have been a better idea if Paul Goldschmidt would have actually taken the pitch instead of actually swinging or maybe it was a hit and run who knows we don't for sure and now Jake Lamb is hitting Derek Jeter still has the same objective on his mind as he did before which is to steal the bag the pitch comes he gets a little bit of a late jump and it's another pop up to the third baseman who is under it and makes the grab so now we can't really blame Jake Lamb for that one since he already had two strikes and who knows if that would have actually been the final strike to strike him out now hitting is David Peralta 1-1 one, one count, two outs, runner on first, Derek Jeter is still stealing, he gets a little bit of a late jump but it doesn't matter anyways as David Peralta hits a line drive into the gap between first and second and Derek Jeter is able to go all the way to third base on that base hit and now the Diamondbacks are going to have a chance to actually drive him in with Sean Langley actually hitting with an 0-1 count, two outs, five pitches so far in the top of the first, which is unbelievable to me because I could tell you guys that this pitcher is really supposed to have at least 12 by now. And uh, a real easy ground ball to Trevor Story who makes a nice play and guns it out to the second baseman without a problem. And now Derek Jeter is hitting in the top of the second. There are two outs, 20 pitches 
thrown in total by this pitcher. And Derek Jeter is just trying to drive these runs in. The pitch comes and he hits the ball. Apo Taco once again past the outfielder. And it seems like they're going to wave the runner from third in. And the throw goes home. And it's a humongous mistake as the runner is gunned out by the shortstop. So a great relay of throws from the outfield to the shortstop. And that is the final out of the inning. Now hitting for the Colorado Rockies with a runner on first base is Tony Walters. It is a 2-2 count, two outs, 22 pitches thrown so far by the pitcher. Bottom of the second, it's a ground ball to Derek Jeter, who plans on throwing a second base, but Derek Jeter took his time, and by taking his time, he messed it all up as the hitter reaches base on an infield single. Now Tony Walters is hitting 0-1 count, two outs. It's the bottom of the fourth now and the pitcher has 50 pitches thrown in total so Derek Jeter probably messed a lot of things up for him Derek Jeter gets another ground ball but this time he is actually not gonna take his time even though he did take his time to a certain extent by hitting the ball into the glove but he gets the final out anyways so they are in good hands and we are heading into the top of the fifth where there is one out and 44 pitches thrown in total by the starting pitcher the pitch comes and it's a pretty inside fastball which jams Derek Jeter if Derek Jeter would have actually gotten his hands extended maybe by turning on it a little bit earlier he probably would have been able to actually drive the ball to left field but he heads in to hit again in the top of the eighth he is two for three so far so he is definitely boosting up his average still and he gets a four seam fastball which he lays off of and it's a little bit outside so not much for Derek Jeter to worry about and now he has a 1-0 count the next pitch comes and it's a pretty low pitch I don't know if that was an off speed or not but Derek Jeter just hits a line drive and he's gonna get aggressive and try to get two he slides to the right and he gets there just in time so he hits a double and he took advantage of the outfielder taking his time basically to actually get the throw and there we get a little replay of the ball actually being hit down the line and Paul Goldschmidt is 0 for 3 so far so you know his batting average is suffering to a certain extent there is an 0-1 count two pitches thrown so far a ground ball the opposite way and they are sending Derek Jeter home the throw comes and will Derek Jeter be safe or out the catcher mishandles the throw and Derek Jeter scores without a problem and the Diamondbacks are now up 3-0 and we head into the bottom of the ninth where they have a runner on first base it's a 2-2 count and there is one out so far nine pitches thrown by the closer so we need to get out of this inning without being hard. We need to actually end the game, not even add, get out of this inning. Derek Jeter is going to make a dive, even though he really didn't need to make a dive. And he is going to be unable to get the out at second or first as he took his sweet time making the dive. So he gives the Colorado Rockies an extra chance to actually tie the game. So it's the bottom of the ninth. There is one out. The pitch comes and it's a ground ball to Derek Jeter. He misreads it, but it doesn't matter anyways as he guns him out at first. And with this, we end today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you thumbs up the video. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you do so. And as always, have a great day and night. Stay positive, keep grinding, keep smiling, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, console superstars.